Alright, welcome back to Starcrawlers. So, we have decided to jump ship on Aurora. The... are they the... no, no, no. It was... who was it again? Aurora Starliners owns the Stella Marin as the vessel. And then, who was it? I forgot already. And I don't care, because they're not our client anymore. I've decided to join the UFP just because I'm tired of these corporations. And hopefully they won't uh, bug me. Okay, Normal difficulty. Yeah, Aurora Starliners, and then who was the other one? Oh, look at this. He needs to fix this. The uh, string went a little over long there, and the parentheses is on the parenthesis is on the next line. Yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. I accept. Yep, let's see who we're gonna go with. Launch the mission. Insinuating emotions. Bolstering feelings. Okay. You've arrived at the hideout of Rasa the Hook. A wounded Horizon Corp Sec officer stumbles up to you, clutching at a gunshot in his side. Warm beer send you. We need help clearing the southern tunnels. They have a cave tr <laughs> um, Is this a Lord of the Rings reference? Just randomly? Uh, yeah, the officer realizes you're not with Horizon. That's who it was. It was Horizon that I had the good rep with. Um, yeah, call out for him to stop. Oh, this is really annoying. I don't know what they've done, what he's done, but... The, uh, interface here is all messed up. Like, it takes forever. Like, it didn't respond to my click. I don't know what's going on. You approach the officer cautiously. He appears to be heavily wounded in need of urgent medical attention. I don't know anything, and I ain't telling you anything, crawler scum. You don't know anything, or you won't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can't or won't. The officer seems confused. Corpsec officer. What? Bo, neither. <laughs> Gah! When my crew in the South Tunnels finds you dead, Rasa can't hide behind the magma fret. Perk. The officer collapses and expires. Sounds like a lot of hostiles in these southern tunnels. Rasa's holed up behind some sort of magma trap or something. Inspect the body. Examining the body, you see his uniform, uniform, his uniform is marred with blaster shots, a conspicuous amount of worm slime, and what looks like magma burns. Um, looks like Ross and his crew are putting up a decent fight. The body contains nothing else of interest. Let's go rescue Ross. Alrighty. Secure canister. Oh man, what is with this... Okay, you spotted a compact cylindrical canister fashioned from some form of slick metal alloy. A quick inspection reveals no distinguishing marks that might hint at what lies within. Take a look. Oh, this is killing me. This is so killing me. Um, prize it open, raw and cut crystals. I'm not an expert on shiny rocks, but some of these look like they might be valuable. I think you better let me have a look at those. Praise the merchandise. That's a shame. Most of these are pretty low-end silicates. They're not worthless, but they definitely won't bring in much. Surely that's not everything. Look again. Ah, sweet. This should bring in a tidy sum. Alright, take the gems. Time to move on. Oh man, this is really bad. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this. The sweltering heat in this room is almost unbearable. On the far side, you can barely make out another door, but the unsturdy... Yeah, I guess that's a word. 
The unsturdy path across is blocked by two large tubes pouring scalding magma. Danger, danger, fire, my chases will not survive. Thumbs down on this plan. There's gotta be a shutoff for those tubes. Okay. Uh-oh. It's a little robot. A little robot friend. Will you be my friend? I guess not. Well, mm, corpse sec. Kimbo is still the fastest. Eh, yeah, let's just go on for it. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Whatever. Every fight I fight seems to be very easy. Gun of Benders is making weird noises. All right, let's just take everything and uh, abilities. Yep. 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 Okay. Nothing secret here, huh? Ah, oh, well. Let's just go get this over with. Ugh. Dang it! the lag on these menus. I'm not going to play past this episode, to, or past this mission today, because this is really bugging me. A pirate leaps from behind a boulder and unleashes a blood-curdling cry. You've made your last mistake now, corp goons. Smitty is coming for you. Inform the pirate you've come to rescue Rasa the Hook. Before you can speak, the pirate seems to reconsider his earlier bravery and promptly rums, runs into a nearby room and slams the door shut. You hear the distinctive clunk of a maglock seal activating and the muffled shouting of the pirate. Ye blaggards, you'll never get old Smitty now. Har 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 har. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Guess we'll disarm that. Hmm. Still went after Justin, that's annoying. No, we're missing one. Ah, uh, trick shot. Yeah, 
we go. Yeah, just go for that. Go for the bouncing Betty. You know, even though they're called uncommon, I always feel like I get more uncommon items than I do common items. Like, it feels to me like white items are the ones that... Like, I feel like I get more green items than I do white ones. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Who am I comparing this to? Oh, Justin. Uh, sure. Am I gonna equip it though? I don't know. Block 12, block 13. I can't believe this is a level... I guess it's only level 10. Alright. It just feels like the rarity and levels of the items don't have much to do with like how actually good they are, which is sort of disappointing. Of damage, 126. Wow. Wow. You'll notice the trick shot there aborted early because there was more there was nowhere else for it to bounce. See, there's a white one. Okay, can we shoot that down? Any day now. Crushed it. Moist canister. Ah, uh, take a close look. Hmm, extract the scroll. Unrolling the scroll reveals a page torn from what looks like a journal. Day 12. Reckon I've been in this hellhole long enough to loot some of the good stuff. Snuck off to call the local guy working the markets on sticks and had him hold the goods for me. Passcode is Moav Herky Gears. Don't forget it. Write it down or something. Oh my. Alright. Here we are. I'm actually going to write down... copy of Moav Herky Years. I'm writing that down on my copy of The Fall of Rome by Hodden. Hmm. 
Two things I would never have ever in my life thought would share the same piece of paper. Alright. You stash the scroll and pack and in your pack and close the container. Alright. Armory door. What's over here? Nothing. What's over here? Nothing. Uh-huh. Oh, did something is something gonna happen? The game is thinking about it. Uh, the door is firmly sealed by a heavy maglock. A small keypad is embedded in the center. You are still out there. You'd best just leave old Smitty alone. Hmm. Inspect the keypad. It appears to be a standard heavy maglock keypad with a four digital digit code. Smitty must know the code to have locked it from the other side. I hear you poking at me keypadder out thar. Leave it be and go away. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's just talk with Smitty then. Uh, da -dum, da -dum. I said go away. There's not you can say to the likes of me. Uh, we're here to rescue your captain. We're not with the corpse. What's that? I cannot hear ye. You've come to kill Captain Corvath? That's the case. I'm liable to help you do it. Corvath? Isn't your Captain Ross of the Hook? Boahaha, Ross of the Hook, ye gods no, that fella's not even part of the crew. He's here, eh, and he's giving out the orders and paying the wages, but Corvass the captain, Ross got his own agenda. Someone's yanking your chains, goober. Interesting, regardless, if we take down Corvath, the captain's place will be vacant. I'd be the bucko to take his spot. Tell you what, if you're going to take on the captain, you'll be needing some bigger guns. I'll tell you how to find the coder to this here door, and you take down old Corvath, savvy? Okay. Very good. In the big cavern behind ye, look for the rainbow crystals. Note their numbers from top to bottom. That there's your four-digit coder. By the time ye come back, old Smitty will have vacated the premises. Roy G. Biv, ye tossers. Bwahaha. You hear Smitty uh, stomp away from the door. Uh, the rainbow crystals. Note the numbers from top to bottom. Roy G. Biv. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's supposed to be a secret. Okay, well, we've turned off the magma pump. Well, I do recall seeing some colorful crystals earlier. Did we open this thing? Yeah, we did. Hmm. Well, there's one. Hmm. Three. And that's seven. One, three, seven. Okay. Hmm. Bob. 
but I cannot get a glance at that one. 137. Right? Seven or one three three seven. How did I know? How did I know it was going to be that? That should all, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, of course, it would be one three three seven. You charge into the armory to find it deserted and the door on the opposite wall unlocked. The contents of the armory are yours to loot. Okay. Blasting charges. Rows of bulky military-grade blasting charges are stored haphazardly. These things look unstable. Take a blasting charge. You carefully remove one of the charges from the rack and stow it in your pack. For safety reasons, it would be best not to transport more than one at a time. Okay. Well. Oh man, are we gonna need to code for this too? It's not even locked. Open the safe. Ah, the Void Psyker's Ancient Tome. Things are starting to look less dismal. Yeah, you know what, actually? What's my loadout look like? I'm wondering about taking the armor all. Ah, uh, we won't yet. Let's just open the locker. Boom sling, heavy armor of the ogre. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so. I think that's going to do it for this episode. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, hmm. I'm still just thinking to myself about the, the lead code. That was kind of silly. All right, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.